Remember to turn off the QX Active. Go to the Roadmap view, right click on the QX Active and choose Off. Undo the Viper connection for the liquid flow and undo the green and blue sheath and aux gas tubes. Remove the large electrical cable, pull the collar on the socket towards the probe to release the plug and then remove the HV cable. If you're ever uncertain which tube is which, look at the engravings on the instrument they're engraved A for aux and S for sheath. In the next stage we're going to remove the probe. Note its position for when you need to return it. The probes are engraved with rings. We usually position the probe so that the third ring is not quite visible. Loosen the black knurled screw. Pull the probe towards you until it stops. Then turn it anti-clockwise and continue to pull to remove it completely. Put the probe somewhere safe. Its fine end is extremely delicate. Next you will need to find the APCI probe and its needle which will be in a small envelope. Next we're going to fit the APCI probe. There's a pin on the probe that fits in the slot that you can see on the left side of the holder. Insert the probe, get the pin into its slot, rotate, push the probe further down to the correct position and then tighten the collar on the right hand side. Then replace the blue and the green gas lines. Try not to get the gas lines cross threaded. If you're not sure which way the gas lines go, look at the engravings on the probe and make sure they match the engravings at the other ends of the tubes on the instrument itself. Now we're going to fit the heater cable. Note the red dot on the plug which lines up with the red dot on the left side of the socket collar. Fit the cable. Remove the plastic plug from the right hand side of the spray chamber and plug the HV cable into the socket. This is the cable that otherwise supplies the spray voltage to, to the ESI probe. Next we're going to fit the APCI needle in the spray chamber. It is possible to do this by opening the flap on the front of the spray chamber, which you do by turning the two black knobs a quarter turn clockwise. Then you can open the flap and push the needle into the little gold tube which is held on the steel thing on the right hand side of the spray chamber. That's quite difficult though because you're trying to move the needle into a tube that's pointing away from you in a confined space with running the risk of spiking your hand on the needle or burning yourself on the front of the instrument. So it's probably easiest to remove the spray chamber and fit the needle that way. Move the right hand tag outwards. Move the left hand tag outwards too and don't forget to pull off the exhaust tube from underneath. Now you can wiggle the entire spray chamber off. Be careful, it's quite heavy. With the chamber on its side on the bench, insert the blunt end of the pin into the little gold tube. Be careful not to spike your finger. Now we put the spray chamber back on. Note the holes at the bottom to guide it onto the two pins. If it doesn't fit easily, check the tags are in the right place. Once you've got it on, push the tags back inwards to hold the spray chamber in place. Don't forget to put the waste tube back on, which is what I forgot this time, the waste pipe underneath. Now fit the fluid connections, the Viper fitting, on the top. To remove the APCI probe, first open the front flap by turning the black knobs and remove the APCI pin. Then you can close the front flap again, secure with the two black knobs by a quarter turn. Next you can remove the Viper fitting, detaching the HPLC from the QX active. Then undo the two gas tubes, the green one and the blue one.
Next we undo the heater cable, push the little collar at the base towards the probe and then the cable can be pulled away from it. Undo the black thumb screw on the right hand side a few turns, lift the probe out, turn it anti-clockwise and then lift it completely out, it might be hot. The probes have a pin which fits in a slot on the side of the housing that you can see at the top of the hole where you'll be inserting the probe. Fit the ESI probe with the pin in the slot, rotate it clockwise and then push it down until about the third groove or wherever it was fitted before. Then do up the black thumb screw on the right hand side. Next you can fit the two gas tubes. You might want to move the heater cable out of the way first. Fit the blue tube and the green trying not to get them cross threaded. If you have any confusion about which way round they go, check the engravings on the probe itself to see if they match those on the instrument. Fit the green tube. They can be a bit of a fiddle to get at the right angle. Then fit the LC connection, the Viper connection. Now take the HV cable and insert it in the top of the probe and put the little cap back in to keep the socket clean. Finally, fit the heater cable, making sure that you align the little red dot on the outside of the plug with the dot on the collar. This can also be a bit of a fiddle. The ESI spray chamber is now successfully installed.